Game of the year in the Big Ten regular season lived up to the hype. Number two, Penn State, and number six, Ohio State. And Chuck, when I say it lived up to the hype, it lived up to the hype on the very first play. The first play, they kick it to the wrong guy. That's <laughs> what? He housed it. No coverage. All the way to the outside. He's done this before. At high, he out. really has. Yeah. That's Saquon Barkley going 97 yards on the opening kickoff, which means Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes have some work to do. To the second quarter now. Penn State's up 14 to 3. Howard, there goes that man again. He is outstanding. And you start talking about giving him the bat uh, the football. Basketball trying to get the short pants already. <laughs> he just does a tremendous job down the sideline. He's so explosive. 36 yards for another score. So he's your clear-cut Heisman front runner, right? Right now. To say about that beautiful ball to Terry McLaurin, and all of a sudden JT has more touchdown passes in his career than any QB in Big Ten history. Wow. At halftime, it's 28-17 Penn State. McSorley here with his team up by eight. Kind of throws it up to DeAndre Tompkins, and it's called an interception for Denzel Ward. But look at it again, guys. What's the right call here? The right call is Ty goes to the runner. Ty goes to the receiver. Yeah, you want to play baseball. <laughs> We're covering everything. We're getting it all in. Touchdown. They overturn it and say, yes, indeed, it was a catch. Hang in there, Urban. Fourth and 11, Penn State is punting. Denzel Ward says, not anymore. Oh, the dreaded double call. He blocks it. It's recovered by Dante Booker. There's some momentum for OSU. Two plays later, JT Barrett, who had an incredible fourth quarter, finds Johnny Dixon over the middle. Touchdown. Buckeyes down by just eight. Penn State gets a field goal to make it 11. Barrett gets the ball back. Four and a half to play to Dixon again in the end zone. They go for two and don't get it, so the Buckeyes are down by five. Uh -oh. Penn State is forced to go into a three and out. Barrett gets the ball back. Less than two minutes ago, he's looking for Marcus Baugh, and he found him for a score, and OSU takes their first lead of the game in the closing seconds. Another two-point conversion fails, so that means Penn State has a chance here just needing a field goal, but it's fourth and 15. McSorley under pressure, incomplete pass, Comeback complete. Buckeyes win. Jenny Taft with JT Barrett afterwards. I'll let you enjoy this in a sec, but you completed 16 passes in a row, three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. You put this team on your back. How did you do it? Nah, I mean, I just did my job. That's what they talked about all year, and even since I've been here, everybody do their job. We're going to be winners, so I just did my job and just tried to play my best for the team. There was emotion on the sideline. I saw some tears from some of your teammates. Tell me about the fight you saw from your guys tonight. Yeah, I mean, it didn't look good early. I mean, let's be honest. So with that, you just kept on fighting, and then it took everybody's last ounce to get this win, and um, I love those guys in that locker room. Does it get any better than this? Say again? Does it get any better than this moment? Hey, this Buckeye Nation has finest Big Ten football. Buckeyes win 39-38. Go Bucks. All right, enjoy. Thank you. All right.